Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn splitting and using the logical operators on a string in Python. So let's move to Geeks for Geeks ID to learn about them. In Python, we use the split function for splitting a string. Let's look at an example. So we have a string str equal to geeks1 space geeks2 and another space geeks3. Suppose we need to split this string and have geeks1, geeks2 and geeks3 in a list. So we simply write l equal to str dot split. Now l is a list containing these strings. Let's run this program. We can see that output is a list containing the strings Geeks1, Geeks2 and Geeks3. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have this string and we wish to split this string with a comma. So we simply write L dot split and within brackets a comma. Let's run this program. We can see that the string is splitted with commas and we have all the values separated in a list. This method is very helpful while using CSV files. We will learn how to work with the files in the coming tutorials. Suppose we just need to split the first comma, space or any character for that matter. For doing this, we write str dot split and within the brackets a comma and one representing that we will split with just the first comma. Let's run this program. We can see that only the first comma is splitted. Now let's discuss the logical operators on a string in Python. Python considers empty strings as having boolean value of false and non-empty strings having boolean value of true. For an AND operator, if left value is true, then the right value is checked and returned. If the left value is false, then left value is returned. For an OR operator, if left value is true, then it is returned. Otherwise, if left value is false, then right value is returned. Let's look at an example. We have declared an empty string str1 string str2 equal to geeks for geeks and another string str3 equal to geeks. Now we are performing OR and AND operations on these three strings. str1 is an empty string so it represents false. str2 and str3 represents boolean true. Let's run this program. We can see that whenever we perform AND with an empty string, then the empty string is printed. And whenever we perform OR operation with an empty string, then the other string is returned. This is because empty string represents false boolean expression. When we perform AND operation on str2 and str3, then str3 is returned. And when we perform OR operation, then str2 is returned, as both of them represents boolean true. So in this tutorial, we discussed how to split a string and perform boolean expressions on it. We will continue learning more on the strings in the coming tutorials. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.